Hello and welcome to Cubase Elementary. This is going to be a series of videos uh, mainly for Cubase Elements users, but of course everything will be applicable for artists and pro users as well. In this first video, we're going to take a look at what the differences are between Cubase Elements and the two free versions of Cubase, Cubase LE and AI. So to start, just a little bit of background on what Cubase LE and AI are. Cubase LE is usually bundled with equipment and what have you by non-Steinberg companies. For example, the Audience ID4 comes bundled with Cubase LE. Cubase AI usually gets bundled with Steinberg stroke Yamaha products. And Cubase Elements is a version that you can either buy outright, or if you have Cubase LE or AI, you can upgrade to. So let's have a look and see how all of these differ. First and foremost, uh, Cubase Elements can record up to 32-bit 192 kilohertz, whereas LE and AI can only record 24-bit up to 192 kilohertz. Looking at audio track count, LE has 16 audio tracks, AI has a maximum of 32 and Elements has 48. Similar situation with the MIDI count, LE has 24 MIDI tracks available, AI has 48 and Cubase Elements has up to 64. Instrument track count, Cubase LE has 8, AI 16 and Cubase Elements 24. Inputs, now this is the number of audio tracks that you can record simultaneously. With LE you can do 8, AI 16, and with Cubase Elements you can do up to 24. In terms of VST effects, which are the plugins like the compressor and the EQ, etc. LE, Steinberg give you 18, with AI it's 28, and Cubase Elements, it's either 42 or 43. I counted them twice. On the Steinberg website it says over 40, but I did count them and I'm pretty sure it's 42. Now let's see what instruments are included. With LE, you get the Halion Sonic SE. AI, you get that, and you also get Groove Agent SE. And with Elements, you get both of those and the Prologue Synth. Inserts. This is the maximum number of inserts you could have on an audio channel. With LE, you can have four, as you can with AI, but Cubase Elements allows you to have eight inserts per track. With Group Channels, with Cubase LE, you can have eight, as you can with AI, but Cubase Elements gives you 16 group channels. Similar sort of thing for the FX channels. With both LE and AI, you can have four, but Cubase Elements gives you eight FX channels. And with sends per track, obviously, you'd expect it to be four, four, and eight as well, because they wouldn't want you to send to more FX channels than you had. I would imagine that's the logic behind that. Whilst we're talking about group and FX channels, uh, it's worth mentioning that there'll be a video explaining what they are and what the differences are between those coming up soon. And also I'm going to be making a video uh, explaining a workaround if you want a lot more routing capabilities within Cubase using a third party plugin that I stumbled across. Like I mentioned, I'm hoping to upload about five videos a week on all matters Cubase elements related. So if that sort of thing interests you, please hit subscribe. Thank you. Cheers.